Welcome back to the 2021 Idea House. There has been a lot of work happening over the last month, not to mention a lot of snow and a big drop in temps. Come on in, take a look. We turned on the propane heaters to keep the ground from freezing in preparation for the concrete slab. After the mechanicals were roughed in, they graded the ground, put in rigid foam insulation, set the tubing, and then connected the pipes to the manifold. The hydronic heating is zoned in this house. So you've got the garage and mudroom, the main house, the dining room, and the sunroom all on separate controls. And ultimately, because home heating can be one of the largest expenses that you have on home energy bills, the hydronic heat for me was the best way to efficiently, affordably, and most comfortably heat the space. Once the in-floor heat was prepped, we were ready for the concrete. It took them less than two hours to pour 1,900 square feet. Since this concrete is going to be my finished floor, they're using a technique called burning or burnishing the floor. Now they've been using this technique for years in commercial applications to make the concrete harder, smoother, and easier to clean. So the technique for burnishing is to trowel and trowel again and then again. When you keep troweling concrete, it gets harder and stronger and even shinier. So in addition to the structural benefits of burnishing, you also have aesthetic benefits. What it does is it creates it's kind of an acid washed and marbleized look in the floor with a lot of variation in color. So even though it looks rough, it feels like hard silk. There is 1,800 square feet of glazing in this house. And even though it feels like they have the majority of the windows in already, the entire garage is still completely full. From the trapezoid windows that make the master bathroom feel like a cozy treehouse, to the 24-foot tall wall of windows flanking the chimney to the west, to the glass boxes that project into the valley, creating a snow globe experience for the dining room and the sunroom, to the two-story glass link that carries the magical bridge between the main house and the owner's suite, this house blurs the lines between the inside and out, and there is nowhere in this home that you won't experience nature. Not only do these windows look great, but they're also energy efficient. The dual glazed windows with warm edged polymer spacers are coated with three layers of silver oxide, which reject the sun's heat in the summer, but keep warmth in the building in the winter. They use low E366 insulated glass filled with argon gas to give great thermal performance. All the glass doors are a two and a quarter inch thick slab to give ultimate performance and longevity. The windows have a heavy duty extruded aluminum cladded exterior which provides strength and durability. Metal roofing and steel roofs are becoming more and more sought after due to their lifespan, durability, and their unmatched aesthetic. The steel metal panels are well on their way to install and they are looking beautiful. It is the crown jewel on this space. Now, not only did I want something that was going to be incredibly strong and durable with a long life to protect the home, I wanted something that also tied into the history of the farmstead. And this metal roof is doing just that. We're using true snap panels in Galvalume. They're 16 inches wide and made of 24 gauge steel. The ridge cap is a flat style, which goes beautifully with the modern design. Standing seam metal panel systems use a raised seam to connect panels together. This results in an unbelievably high performing panel, no matter the environment. The snap seam panel has a unique advantage. It can be snap locked or mechanically seamed during installation. This means installation is quicker and easier than ever when compared to traditional double seamed panels. Even with the faster install, we've still got the same exceptional and long lasting performance from this hidden fastener metal roofing panel. Cedar siding, a stunning complement to this modern barn house in a very rustic setting. Western Red Cedar is beautiful, lightweight, and naturally resistant to rot and decay, which makes it ideal for any outdoor application. 
This is an 8-inch tongue and groove product with a fine line edge, giving it a sleek modern look. The cedar was factory finished with a beechwood gray bleaching stain and what that stain does is it protects the cedar initially and then it accelerates the weathering process so within three to six months you're going to get to that nice silvered look and it's going to happen much more evenly. Coming up, we'll be jumping right into interiors on the next episode of the 2021 Idea House. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.